shear modulus which is also known as rigidity modulus is almost similar to that of bulk modulus but the difference is that the bulk modulus is equal to the volume stress divided by volume strain where the shear or rigidity modulus is shear stress divided by the shear strain the shear modulus is denoted by capital G and it describes the material's response to shear stress we are going to explain what is shear stress shear strain and how to derive the equation for rigidity modulus let's consider this box having length l and one side of this box is fixed when we apply a deforming force a parallel to one of its surfaces while its opposite face is fixed it will deform into a parallelopipped now in this situation the shear stress will be equal to the force divided by area where the force is the force which act on one of the face of this structure and a is the area on which this force acts so the shear stress is equal to F divided by A or force per unit area. When we applied the force F it displays one of its surface del X from its initial position. Now the shear strain in this situation will be equal to del X divided by L. This del X is the transverse displacement caused by the force F and L is the initial length. So the shear strain is equal to del X divided by L. This shear strain can also be denoted in term of theta. In this triangular shape, del X is the perpendicular, L is the base and we know that perpendicular divided by base is equal to tangent theta. So del X divided by L is equal to tan theta or the shear strain is equal to tan theta. Now the shear modulus will be equal to shear stress divided by shear strain. Where the shear stress we know is equal to force per unit area and shear strain is equal to del X divided by L. Or in term of theta, the shear modulus will be equal to F by A divided by tangent theta. When the theta is very very small, then tangent theta approaches to theta. So the shear modulus in this situation will be equal to F divided by A theta. And this is the shear modulus which we have derived from the shear stress and the shear strain. That's it. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe EasyDU for more videos. Thank you.